the nurse is assigned to care for a child who is scheduled for an appendectomy. Which prescriptions does the nurse anticipate to be prescribed? Select all that apply. A. Administer a fleet enema. B. Initiate an intravenous line. C. Maintain nothing by mouth status. D. Administer intravenous antibiotics. E. Administer preoperative medications. F. Place a heating pad on the abdomen to decrease pain. The correct answers are B. Initiate an intravenous line. C. Maintain nothing by mouth status. D. Administer intravenous antibiotics. And E. Administer preoperative medications. Rationale. During the preoperative period, enemas or laxatives should not be administered. In addition, heat should not be applied to the abdomen. Any of these interventions can cause the rupture of the appendix and resultant peritonitis. Intravenous fluids would be started and the child should receive nothing by mouth while awaiting surgery. Antibiotics are usually administered because of the risk of perforation. Preoperative medications are administered as prescribed. The nurse is monitoring a preterm labor client who is receiving magnesium sulfate intravenously. The nurse should monitor for which adverse effects of this medication. Select all that apply. A. Flushing. B. Hypertension. C. Increased urine output. D. Depressed respirations. E. Extreme muscle weakness. F. Hyperactive deep tendon reflexes. The correct answers are A. Flushing, D. Depressed respirations, and E. Extreme muscle weakness. Rationale Magnesium sulfate is a central nervous system depressant, and it relaxes smooth muscle, including the uterus. It is used to stop preterm labor contractions, and it is used for preeclamptic clients to prevent seizures. Adverse effects include flushing, depressed respirations, depressed deep tendon reflexes, hypotension, extreme muscle weakness decreased urine output, pulmonary edema, and elevated serum magnesium levels. The nurse is assisting with planning care for a client with an internal radiation implant, which should be included in the plan of care. Select all that apply. A. Wearing gloves when emptying the client's bedpan. B. Keeping all linens in the room until the implant is removed. C. Wearing a film badge when in the client's room. D. Wearing a lead apron when providing direct care to the client. E. Placing the client in a semi-private room at the end of the hallway. The correct answers are A. Wearing gloves when emptying the client's bedpan. B. Keeping all linens in the room until the implant is removed. C. Wearing a film badge when in the client's room and D, wearing a lead apron when providing direct care to the client. Rationale, a private room with a private bath is essential if a client has an internal radiation implant. This is necessary to prevent the accidental exposure of other clients to radiation. The remaining options identify interventions that are necessary for a client with a radiation device. The community health nurse has completed a teaching session about anthrax with members of the community. The nurse reinforcing the teaching to those attending that anthrax can be transmitted via which routes. Select all that apply. A. Skin. B. Kissing. C. Inhalation. D. Gastrointestinal. E. Direct contact with an infected individual. The correct answers are A. Skin. C. Inhalation and D, gastrointestinal. Rationale, anthrax is caused by bacillus anthracis, and it can be contracted through the digestive system, abrasions in the skin, or inhalation. It cannot be spread from person to person. The nurse is collecting data from a client who has been diagnosed with placenta previa. Which findings should the nurse expect to note? Select all that apply. A. Uterine rigidity. B. Uterine tenderness. C. Severe abdominal pain. D. Bright red vaginal bleeding. E. Soft, relaxed, and non-tender uterus. 
The correct answers are D, bright red vaginal bleeding, and E, soft, relaxed, and non-tender uterus. Rationale, painless bright red vaginal bleeding, during the second or third trimester of pregnancy, is a sign of placenta previa. The client will have a soft and relaxed non-tender uterus. In clients with abruptio placentae severe abdominal pain is present. Uterine tenderness accompanies placental abruption. Additionally, with abruptio placentae, the abdomen will feel hard and bored-like on palpation as the blood penetrates the myometrium and causes uterine irritability.